All right, here we go. It's uh, Saturday, January the 14th. We're doing turbos today. On that bad boy. I don't know if you guys can see it right now. The bus is so bright. There it is. We're putting a turbo on that thing. This is going to be fun. Let's get to it. I'm trying real hard to film us even getting started and the GoPro is just not cooperating. So we're getting tools out and starting on a turbo. Are you excited about this? I don't know if I'm excited or nervous. Yeah, both. Let's see how this goes. All right, so we're starting this process off with WD-40 because there's definitely some rust in here and I'm just hoping and praying that we can get all of these off. This is gonna be fun. So all of them that are gonna need to be touched i really don't know how bad this is gonna be just start disconnecting shit i guess and go ahead and get me some gloves before I get too far into this. Then uh, grab some PB Blaster too. All right, so we're up to three broken things so far. Yeah. Look at this. This is how bad this thing was. Look at that. That's not supposed to look like that. Oh, my back's already hurting. So, I got all that shit off. Broke some more bolts. I say broke bolts. So far, it's not broken bolts. It's like the clamps are so rusted that the bolts on those are twisting out and breaking out. I got the band on the turbo loose so it can be clocked oh wow something was rubbing on that interesting this bolt broke and it appears to be really stuck <laughs> they just keep going i guess super stuck and it's super broke <laughs> are you a mechanic no but I can wreck some shit sweet that's now loose she got Is, is I'm not a fucking mechanic. Okay, it's now Sunday, January the 15th, and let me give you the update. Uh, I got everything stripped off of the turbo other than the four bolts that bolt the turbo to the manifold itself. I can't get them to budge. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. We're gonna play with that today, but also, 
Last night, we made a Walmart run from the Lowe's over to the Walmart, and which is close, and the serpentine belt on the van decided to give out. So AJ and I are going this morning on a one-wheel mission to pick up a serpentine belt and then uh, put that on so that we have a vehicle to run back and forth through parts through the bus. It's Sunday and we can't get parts for the bus until tomorrow, Monday. So we're stuck here another day no matter what. Uh, who knows how long? We're gonna end up stuck here before we get this out. And I instantly almost died in the intersection. I'm gonna bump and just ejecto cedo. five dollars later let's go back and get dirty all right we're back got parts in hand let's get to work on this bad boy now and then maybe jump back on that one and see if we can't get those four bolts out until like 11 30 at night but we've got the uh serpentine belt swapped out on the van now about to fire it up but i need to zip tie my fan shroud back out of the way first because it's broken I need I not another one of those. It honestly was not bad it's a very dirty job because i'm leaking oil everywhere because of my turbo right now too so i gotta do that also to this van but at least now we can move somewhere now, uh, Monday, January the 16th, like 9.20 at night, I spent all day fighting with bolts on the turbo, and I finally got the damn thing off. Now I am taking a die and cleaning the threads up that are on the manifold, and I'm going to try to put the turbo back on tonight. I say put it on. I know I need, I can't remember, I think I need like four or five clamps that i broke i broke every clamp on it uh luckily i got every one of these bolts off without breaking them i had to go through all kinds of crap we were trying to film it couldn't find the gopro rather than look for the gopro we were worried on actually trying to get the turbo off <sighs> my feet hurt my back hurts and i'm not done let's go get to work all right let's show you where we're at so it is now off and like i said i am cleaning the threads of the manifold up now uh we figured out the new turbo doesn't feed the uh wastegate off of the motor it actually is built into this one it gets it straight off of the boost side we're gonna leave it set up that way and see if this works if it doesn't i'm gonna i guess try to take the hose clamp from the motor and run it over to the actuator on the turbo i'm not a mechanic <laughs> we're just gonna see if we can get this fucking bus to run <sighs> so i'm turning the uh die back up the threads to clean up all the rust and roughness of these threads that made it so hard to get the bolts off or the nuts off not the bolts rather than use the uh, tap and die handle. I don't have room to spin this because the other thread's sticking down. She's an adjustable wrench. The idea is get it to where I can move this by hand freely. And if I can, I should be able to slot a bolt up or a nut up the same way. I keep saying the bolt. I said that all day, wrong. Can we see how clean these right here are? Not really. It's hard to get them in focus there. These are really clean. This one's being cleaned. That one with all the gunk and crap on it. It's 
not been touched yet. All right, it's now Tuesday the 17th and I am tearing into my turbo. I already have the air intake pulled off. Uh, I've pulled the banjo bolt and wanted to show this. Check this out. So it's got four holes in it right here. Then a hole right there that are connected. And that is because this line right here feeds oil up into the bolt around this right here and then shoots it down to the center of the bolt into the turbo. So the reason we haven't been able to install mine is I needed that ring and the ring that goes up under the banjo bolt. That's all I needed to be able to install this turbo that I've had sitting in the box for a week. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Hear that? It's running again. As of right now, I don't see any oil coming out of anywhere it shouldn't. I don't hear anything sounding crazy. All right, I got the turbo in. Look, it's cold as hell out here today. Turbo is in. Everything is hooked back up. No clamps on it. Let's see if she runs. This is ever gonna happen, but we are leaving the Lowe's in St. Louis. The bus is rolling down the road again. And as of right now, the check engine, or not check engine, check transmission light has went off too. So all we did was add fluid to it. Uh, hopefully we make it all the way to Colorado. We're ready to play in some snow. How does that feel? Feels okay. I can feel it shifting, but it's definitely not real hard like it was. I'm talking about power. See you guys on the next one.